I'm really, really, really trying, I'm not trying to sound overly dramatic, but I was honestly debating on making this video for like a while after I watched the last episode, The Enemies of Jake Paul by Shane Dawson because of the ending. And Katie Morton is coming back and this is actually a really, really serious subject, which is why I was debating on talking about it, but I think I can do it in the right way, but we really need to talk about mental health ethics. We are trying to come up with a plan because if I bring Katie, the therapist, with us, and she's there the whole time. I don't think he's going to be like himself. I don't think he's gonna be comfortable. I think he's going to be kind of fake. So I came up with a plan. And it sounds really shady. And I've never done anything like this before. The plan is, I'm gonna have Katie, the therapist, pretend to be our producer. And she's going to be with us the whole day, watching, listening, analyzing Jake's body language, seeing what he's like when the camera turns off, and then throughout the day, she's gonna kinda take me in another room, so Jake will have no idea, and then we'll go into the other room, and I'll just be like, how's it going? What do you think? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and helping you improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So let's talk about ethics real quick. Like with my ethics and with my morals and my values, like I feel that I would be doing my audience a disservice if I didn't make a video on this, all right? I know a lot of you who subscribe to my channel, you know, you care about mental health, you care about your mental health or the mental health of others. And a very serious topic is ethics in the mental health field. So when I saw the ending of uh, The Enemies of Jake Paul, and they were showing a preview for the next episode and I saw, you know, what Shane was talking about with uh, Katie Morton, I'm like, oh my God, like, I was on my live stream. If any of you wanna check it out, it'll be linked up in the info card, but like my jaw was on the floor and you can see me going through this process and talking like, should I make a video on this? Because if, if they go through with this, this can potentially lead to a lot of really bad things and it can be really unethical. So before I really dive into this video, I wanna say, a few things, okay? And I talk about it a little bit in the live stream replay. Like, these, nothing's happened yet. Nothing has happened yet. This is this is speculation, okay? So if, if I am wrong or whatever happens, I swear to you, I will make a follow-up video to discuss this, okay? Because if any of you have been watching me for at least a week or two, you know that I, I love and respect Katie Morton. I think she is an amazing therapist. I don't think that a lot of backlash that came her way was fair, but if this plays out the way that Shane is saying it's going to play out, then I really gotta take a step back and look at it. But like I said, I'm not going to accuse her of anything. I'm gonna try really, really hard to watch how I speak about this um, because even me you know, claiming that she is doing something unethical is not good. But I think, you know, what I what I try to do with my channel, I try to take things that are happening in the YouTube community and pop culture to try to teach you about mental health, right? So for any of you out there who are looking for, um, you know, therapy, or if any of you are, you know, have a loved one who's looking for a therapy, like it's really important that you know about ethics and what your rights are as a client or as a patient or whatever it is. So this is a great opportunity to discuss these things. So before um, I jump into this really cool guest appearance I have, I wanna say, so right now, and some of you have asked me this, you've like asked my credentials, like that's the new thing, is like asking everybody their credentials. So currently I am pursuing my CADC. What that is, is a certified alcohol and drug counselor, all right? I should be certified by the beginning of 2019. And right now, um, the class I'm taking is about ethics and legal stuff. So ethics is like really in the forefront of my mind right now. I've been working in the mental health industry for a little over three years now, and ethics is something that I always take very seriously. One of them is because not only am I recovering alcoholic and addict, but I've struggled with mental health issues, um, depression, anxiety, you know, all sorts of stuff. So like ethics is really important for me. Like I really truly care about everybody who I help and everybody who's coming into treatment and all that. So like, this is a really important subject for me. So when I watched that video, 
And at the ending, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm currently taking a class on ethics. I am not the best at, you know, ethics yet. Katie obviously knows way more than me with her experience, but you know who knows more than me and Katie is my mama. My mom is Dr. Carrie F. Randazzo. She has a PhD in psychology and she has been in the field for over a decade now, all right? So I was like, I don't know all the answers. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to call my mom because I was like, mom, I don't even know if I should make this video. And it's really funny, you'll, you'll see. Like my mom's like, wait, what's going on? She's really confused. But I wanted to hear from somebody who's been in the industry for this long and my mom, me and my mom are very similar and my mom is a recovering alcoholic. She's coming up on 13 years sober. Like ethics are very important to her too. So I knew that she would be the exact person to ask about this. So I recorded my phone call with my mom. She knew I was recording it, so it wasn't like secretive. Uh, but I hope the audio is okay. Um, but yeah, you'll see it after I edit it and I have a few tricks up my sleeve. All right, so please give a warm welcome to my mother, Dr. Carrie F. Randazzo, and yeah, here it goes. Okay, so uh, you got like five five minutes, maybe 10 minutes? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of give you like a brief overview of this story. I'm trying to make a video for my YouTube channel. Um, so basically, they're, 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 they're gonna interview this guy, but they're, they're worried that he won't be real with them. They're trying to find out if he's a sociopath or not, you know, whatever, but... <laughs> Anyways, they featured a licensed therapist in episode two, okay? Now, they're, they're afraid, like, if it, uh, the, the people interviewing this guy, okay? So they talked about sociopaths in episode two. Well, now they're going to meet, they're going to meet this guy in the next episode, but he wants to bring the therapist with him. So the concern is, is that this guy's not going to be real or honest if he knows this woman is a, is, is a therapist. So what they're... What they're talking about doing is um, bringing her, but saying that she's a producer and not a therapist. So, like, my question is, is that, like, unethical? Because she's, like, trying to get, like, a diagnosis, all right? Like, is that unethical? It's a licensed therapist? Yes. This was representing yourself to that. He's not her client, so mm I don't know. No. So you don't know? But would you say it's unethical for her to give a diagnosis if this guy did not know that she was, like, evaluating him? People don't do that, so... I mean, I've never heard of people doing that, so that's, like... Mm -hmm. The way you find out is you can call the board, any licensing board, whoever licensed her, and ask, can you do that? Because I, I just would never do it, so I... Yeah, like, would you, like, would you do that? So would it be unethical for her to make a diagnosis during an interview? Yeah. Uh, on TV, or what does she do? I don't... Do yeah, it's on, it's on YouTube. YouTube is the new TV. <laughs> I would think... I don't... I would think she would need to consent to that. Yeah, I would think right. That it's unethical. That it's probably against all hip. I mean, she's diagnosing for who? Like they're trying to get to the bottom. Like the series is—is is this guy a sociopath? You know what I mean? So they're trying to do it, and like. Who's this chick? Who's it for? I don't know. You ask. You're asking too. Why? I'm asking you the questions here, mom. I mean, if no, no, it's this, it's this like millionaire YouTuber. The guy's name's Jake Paul. He has like millions of dollars, millions of followers, I subscribers. I would probably just report this could possibly be unethical and illegal. I don't know. I would probably say unethical. This may be unethical. Yeah. I mean, because what is she? A psychologist? She's a, L, uh, an LMFT, licensed marriage and family therapist. Oh, you know what that means. Why am I explaining it to you? <laughs> you would think so. Yeah. But I don't really understand what she's... Yeah. Does the guy know what she's doing to him? No, that's that's what I'm saying. They're going to introduce her as a producer so he does not know that she is a therapist. That's deceiving. So she, she's deceiving under her license. So she's deceiving him. We don't deceive people. She could cause harm to him. So I know for a fact that we can cause no harm. So if he's not approving to get on TV and diagnosed, she is committing. That is illegal, too, I think. Because we could cause no harm. So she's deceiving this guy. So, do you, it so do you she's think... Using deception. Do you think that that would cause him harm? Say they say they do this because 
for saying a diagnosis on TV. Yeah. Without proper... Well, she's deceiving him. She's deceiving him in research. Not research, she's deceiving him. We don't do that. Yeah, so would you think it was deceptive if, like, what if they got the, um... What if they got consent afterwards? Like, oh, surprise, she was a therapist. I think we... I just had that for my test question. See, it's good. It's uh, good I call. No, no, unless it's gonna... It, no, only in research can you do that. It has to be, um... Uh, yeah, there's some things that... It has to go through a review board. Okay. Uh, it just sounds unethical. Like, so, she's deceived. So, even if she, like, worded it, like... Harm. Yeah, even if she worded it and she says, listen, I'm not giving him a diagnosis, but based on this, it sounds like he might be a sociopath. Like, do you think, like, that could even cause him harm? Well, she's licensed, so she runs by a different code than your average person. Yeah. So, she's really causing no harm to anyone. Yeah. She's causing no harm, so... Like uh, Dr. Ford testifying against Brett Kavanaugh, she had to make. That's why I'm saying she has to be telling the truth because she could be in oh, a yeah. lot of trouble. Oh yeah, oh yeah, insane amounts wasn't. of trouble. So for the APA not to even bother her, is saying that that's okay. Yeah. I just sounds unethical to me, but yeah. hey, you know what I mean. Okay. All right, all right. Let's give a big round of applause for my mom, Dr. Randazzo. <laughs> but but yeah, like I'm glad I talk to her about it and just so you all know she sent me a text later my mom's like me where she'll like think about something even more and then like have more to say and my mom sent me a follow-up text that says the more i think about it it is unethical dot 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 major so what my mom's bringing up is like can it cause the person harm right and yeah like so we don't know how this is going to play out yet we don't we don't know, and I just wanna make that clear again for any of you who ignored my disclaimer, okay? But if if they go through with this, it is unethical. Like, it's, it's not okay. It's not okay to secretly do this. Like, I was giving, uh, I gave Katie Morton so many props, like, you know, even, even though people hear what they wanna hear, Katie Morton was not giving anybody a diagnosis in episode two. No diagnosis whatsoever, and she states that. It would be unethical for her to do so, right? So if she went in there as a secret therapist, Matt as a producer, it would have been really, really unethical because if she comes back, even if she said, and like, even if she said like, you know, based on what I saw, yeah, you know, he, he could be like, even that is unethical. And that can get in a lot of trouble. Like, I say these things, like, I just don't think, I don't think that's what it would be. I just don't think so. When it comes to mental health, when it comes to mental health or even physical health, like, know your rights, know, know what's ethical and what's not ethical. Like, like, consent is really, really important. It is extremely important. Like, I can't even, like, take pictures at my facility because even if it shows, like, the back of somebody's head without consent, right? So, like, consent is extremely, extremely important. So, like, my fear about this is that even if they skirted around this, even if, you know, they did this or whatever, like, my concern would be that Katie's reputation in like the professional community would be tarnished. And like, I, I, I don't know, is she, you know, would she do this for views? I just, I don't, I don't know. And maybe it's just because I like Katie Morton and I always try to check in with myself because like, you know, uh, being someone's fan or liking their content, that can, you know, create a bias, you know what I mean? So like somebody, um, first my girlfriend texted me, she's like, oh no, this ending, this ending's gonna give Shane a lot of crap. I'm like, what is it? Like she finished it before me? And when I saw it and I was I was talking to her, I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't know, I, I hope they don't. But my girlfriend was saying that, you know, this is gonna look bad on Shane. And so I wanna make this clear. So when it comes to ethics and stuff like that, like Shane would be nowhere at fault in this. So if they did go through with this and this is the way it played out, Shane would not be at fault. Shane is not the professional. Shane is not the licensed therapist in the situation. So Shane is not expected to know better. Now, if he ends up doing like, you know, secret recordings and hidden camera stuff, that, I don't know the legal issues with that in the state of California or whatever, but if this happens, like if there were legal ramifications, they would be all on Katie and, you know, she could lose her license or whatever the case is. So Shane would be in the clear in it because Shane's not expected to know any better. But like, I will say this, you know, after the first episode or even the second episode, um, 
uh, Jake Paul, actually Jake Paul made it before the first episode. He's like, watch this before you watch Shane's documentary. And Jake says that he knew everything. He said Shane told him everything, literally everything. So what I'm hoping is, is that maybe this is over-dramatized, maybe they're just, you know, doing this for a show or whatever, and Jake knows and all that. And if that's the case, like, cool, kinda cool, because you're still not really getting a good depiction. But I, I am gonna make two more videos about that episode. Uh, but I think sh I think Shane's just realizing that Jake is just a person and maybe a bad person. But I'm gonna talk more about that in the next video. But anyways, this is, this is an important subject. Like, I know some of you are seeking mental health help, and it's important to know. And if you have questions about ethics and stuff like that, like, leave them down in the comments. If I don't know, I'll try to steer you in the right direction. But it's important to know these things. Like, um, I hope you are all aware, you, those of you in the United States, this thing called HIPAA, okay? Like, you have rights as a patient where they cannot disclose uh, you know, confidential information about you. Like, this is really, really important stuff. So again, like, I hope I did this video justice. I'm not accusing Katie of anything. I hope this is all just a show. I hope when we see the next episode, I hope they say, never mind, we're not gonna do that. Like, I hope that, you know, if Shane wanted to do this, I hope they show Katie saying, no, that's unethical, we cannot do that. This is just kind of what I, I hope happens, or that it's fake, but even if it's still fake, like I said, it might damage Katie's reputation. Um, but anyways, I would love to know your thoughts. Um, if you have any experiences, that might be interesting too. If you have any experiences you wanna share in the comments below about um, experiences you've, you've had, whether with mental health care or your physical health, um, experiences with things that were unethical, like let's have a conversation about it. Like it's important to know this because I'm somebody who used to hate doctors and medical professionals and mental health professionals. I didn't trust anybody. I had a lot of trust issues, but I try to, tell people like there's there's good and there's bad. There's good doctors and bad doctors, good therapists and th uh, bad therapists. But I think just by having a conversation in the comments below, more people will be educated about this and know like when when the right time is to get a different uh, healthcare professional, you know what I mean? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. I will be making more, so make sure that you stay tuned. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And did you see that cool shirt my mom was wearing? That is actually a Rewired Soul shirt, and you can get it right there in the merch shop by click or tapping on that name. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.